What's up guys? Tonight I'm going to look at a collection of vintage toys and I'm going to bring you guys along with me. A viewer by the name of Jason reached out said he's got a lot of cool stuff. He sent me one picture of some things, but it sounds like he's got a lot more. So I'm going to go take a look and see if we can get a deal made. Hey John. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. This is my hey, wife, Bobby. Hi. Hi. How nice are to you? meet you. Nice to meet you. Have fun. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. A lot of this stuff is just from my childhood. Um, like these horses and the, and like all those trucks over there. And the, that hasn't been used for a long time, but it worked uh, the last time it was used. Okay. These little um, point shoots are coming back. Mm -hmm. My daughter picked one up at a Goodwill. I think it was, it was either this one or this one. Just for her own use. Mm -hmm. I looked it up real quick and I said, that's worth a little bit of money. So Yeah, it's crazy what some of them are going for <clears> these <throat> days. Because they don't look like any special. They look right. like a junky old camera. Mm -hmm. and everybody walks by it. These are some of the cleanest boxes, man. Yeah, it's shocking because they they either look like the Twin Pod Cloud Star boxes. This one, or yeah. I don't have them, so. <clears throat> Most of the um, vintage Star Wars I find is like that. That pedal car is incredible. Holy cow! How long have you had that? Um, I was born in seventy, so early seventies. Wow. And I don't know. We lived in Northwest Missouri, didn't have much money, and so it may have been used when we got it even, so. That's cool. But it's just been collecting dust. I've always really liked having it, but I kind of thought, it's just sitting in the garage collecting dust. What are you wanting for the pedal car? I'm probably going to make your life difficult. I don't know, because I've looked them up. Mm -hmm. And there are so many that are close to that one, but not exactly that one. Here you go. They took a best offer on this one. Looks like it originally. So yeah, it's this is Had definitely a lot the one. better condition. It has all the accessories on it. Still, this is in very good condition. I've seen some that are just completely rusted out. But I couldn't pinpoint a value. I can make you an offer on it, but I'm not well versed enough with those to be able to say exactly what it's worth. Here's another thing. You know about the stompers? I saw something on YouTube about them the other day. These have gone way up in value. Depends on which car it is, and I, I, I don't know them enough to say like this one versus this one, mm -hmm. but we could always look them up. But yeah, the stompers have gone way up in value. And I was trying to figure out what pulled this? It might be that. Mm, I don't know. It's. I know it looks awful small, but I just couldn't. This one's Rough Riders LJN Toys. Oh, is that not even a stomper? That one's not a stomper. No, the Shaper oh. made the stomper. But these, these are stompers. I only got wise to these a few years ago, but I just picked up some <clears> at a garage sale over the summer. It was like a whole box of them for 15 bucks and they did really well. It may have been your video that I learned that they're worth something. This one I don't think is definitely not Oh, you know what? It, I think that's for like Hot Wheels. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So I don't, but again, I don't remember what pulled it. <clears throat> oh, you know what? No, that's not it. Do you do this full time? Yeah, I've been doing this full time now for eight years. That's cool. Yeah. Best job I've ever had. That's cool. Where's your, um, your office at? And it's in Mainville too. It's right at the corner, or the, it's right at the edge of like Landon in Mainville. Okay. If you, if you happen to know where Deerfield Park is <clears throat> in Landon, it's right across the street. I've only been to Landon a couple times, and one of them was to get a, a root canal. Oh yeah. <laughs> The guy did it. He did it. Look like he was about five years old. Oh God! <laughs> but he was—he was awesome. I mean, he—I had so little pain. It was not even funny. 
That's great. Is it easier for you if I'm buying everything to get it cleared out? Like, kind of what's your mindset with that? You mean just if you're for sure going to buy it, just take it off the table? Is that what you mean? Or, or just to like clear it out and get it out of your house? Because some people I buy from, it's just the convenience of like, hey, one fell swoop, get it out. I'm not dealing with it. As opposed to me just like kind of picking and choosing when I buy. Does that make any sense? Yeah, you can just, you could just pick and choose. You know, okay. Okay, cool. I kind of figured that was what you do anyway. I don't yeah. Wanna, I don't want to stick you with stuff that you're going to end up throwing away or... It's not a big deal. I've got the I've got a shop now, and on my second floor, stuff that I don't put on eBay, I just put it up there for like fifty cents or a buck. Because a lot of these buys I go on, it's the convenience for people. Like, hey, you know, you're coming and you're getting it all, type thing. That's why I always like to kind of feel people out and see where they're at. Like, if it's easier to just buy it all. What? Uh, just so we can, because I'm not helping much with. With prices and stuff. Yeah. What percentage would you normally go with? Oh, I guess I'm not looking there, every but... single item up. Um, so I'm probably just going to kind of ballpark it. Usually I'm like about 35%, maybe 40%, something like that. Just to give myself some wiggle room. That sounds very fair to me. Yeah. These are, the older they are, the less, the worse the condition is. But I don't know. They're, They're neat though. Things. I haven't seen them before. Scholastic Book Services, that's cool. They probably made these just for like the book fairs. You know what, I'm actually right. So, the pedal car, the spaceship, the cars here, and then what I got in the tote. I mean, I feel very comfortable with you know, the percentage that you're talking okay, about. Okay, cool. And you have a better grip on it. Yeah. I think a ballpark resale value would be about fifteen hundred bucks. Am I sort of in the ballpark? What are you thinking? Oh, just what the resale value is? Yeah. I I don't know. I haven't looked them all up. Um I looked up a couple of things, but yeah, I mean that sounds fair. Would six hundred work for you? Um, yeah, I can do 600. You, um, if you come back, I'll and come I'll back. My, yeah. Cause I'll have baseball cards too. I have cool. about 20,000 baseball cards, but, mm -hmm. you know, obviously a chunk of them are common. So. Yeah. But yeah. I can do 600. Okay. Um, let me pay you for this. And then if you want to. <clears throat> Like next time I come, like if you just want the rest gone, we can figure out a price. Okay. Six hundred. All right. Thanks, Sounds Jason. Good. Jason, I just want to say thank you again so much for the great deal on everything. I'm looking forward to coming back and taking some more stuff off your hands. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay out of trouble, buddy.